Hello everyone, it is me, 12.0 back, and yes, I am recording two videos in the exact same time, exact same day, it is midnight, it is 10, 12, 12, 11, and today, I also got Shark Tart, which is right here, although, you guys would probably be seeing the videos in different times, so if you want to check out the Shark Tart video, link will be in the description, and will be at the end of the video as well. But today is not about Shark Tart, it is about Blaley Burst Quad Drive, Bal uh, Gilded Balderoth, and Magma Rock the Boar. Uh, RSD Quad Drive is pretty controversial right now um, because of how the execution and all that stuff. Uh, my, probably, my biggest problem um, with Quad Drive right now is probably the lack of gimmicks on the drivers. I mean, the layers, I don't care too much about them for, for some of them. Um, but on others like Fafnir, like you take out that and you take out Fafnir, man. Like, what? That's the that's Fafnir's whole thing. Um, but then uh, very controversial. I wanted to pick a uh, quad drive though because um, number one, uh, I like supporting Blade Blade Burst, and number two because um, I have a video planned up specifically including Magma Rock Divorce. So I wanted to get him, and number three because I want to make a video um, talking about quad drive more in depth. But in order for me to do that, I actually need quad drive. So I, I picked this one up. I actually really like this two pack. I got it at a good price too. Um, in the back we have the parts list, which uh, pretty cool, pretty cool, nice, mm, decent recolor. These two useless, pretty cool disc, pretty cool disc. Uh, biased uh, driver, just because I actually really like this driver, so I'm a little biased towards it. This is a monstrosity, but I want to see what type of monstrosity. This is pretty boring. This is nah, okay, whatever. Stats, lies, lies. Right here, bunch of legal stuff in the back. Or not on the back. The side is in promotion for the burst app. And something to note is that they no longer say um, the app will be available into so and so year because I'm pretty sure they just like, you know what? Who knows when we'll be done with Blade so screw it, you know? So that's a good sign, in, in my opinion. Other back, other side, nothing. Front, pretty cool. I actually really like the um, full box things um, because since I display, box, I display the boxes, um, it's gonna look a lot nicer. So, yeah, let's open this up. Got some Zeezers. Let's hope. I'll probably speed this up too. Just because it's going to take me a long time. Time to shush. Okay, so we got it open and now let's check it out. I like how it looks. It feels more like. Oh no. Don't tell me that everything's loose. Don't tell me everything is loose. Gosh darn it. Ooh, Papar! <laughs> Pretty cool. Cardboard. More cardboard. Instruction sheet thingy majingy. Let's just check a, get a quick, quick peek at this thing. It's in the back. How to launch. Point system in the front. Um, how the quad drive in itself works how to lock that in i'm actually gonna have to look that up oh how to scan i'm pretty sure that's no i'm not too sure though and then the lives of stats so yeet this in the back all right let's oh what the heck this looks very interesting very interesting let's check out this one now first uh, obviously this is supposed to be like pressed but it's a lot bigger um I don't know how much bigger compared to the normal press. Um, definitely a bit bigger, but I don't think the difference is all that. The height difference is gonna make all that much of a difference, but it, it will affect it, but not as significantly as um, some would say. And then, and then it's a fall. Oh, it's a, it's a flat. Come on, it's supposed to be a defense not type, not an attack type. Hey, bro, what is going on? And then to, and then obviously there's just the shell. Let's do this boop. About and then we get Sephir. Ooh, it's like a little mini Sephir. But I mean, I think Sephir is a good driver. Ain't gonna lie. You know, some say it's a bad driver. I think it's a good driver. Um, it's not. This is a. It feels smaller than a normal Sephir driver. So it's like pretty funny. Um, small Sephir, big press. Great. That's gonna. That's always gonna work out well. And then to, that's how you put it back on. Obviously, take it off. Boom. Pretty cool. Now, other other one we have obviously like the venturous venture like um, attachment. I mean, it's pretty cool, but you cannot say this is on par with 
Tucker, Takara Tony, and yes, I know Tucker Tony has more money and they have gimmicks and blah 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 blah. blah. But I mean, they could have done a better job, <laughs> and that's all I'm saying. They could have done a better job. There's, there's really little to no excuse. Hasbro is a multi-billionaire company. I could easily make a deal with Tucker Tony to be producing the exact same thing, and instead of Hasbro trying to be its own thing, be what it's supposed to be. A distributor to America and to the North American place and whatever else they disappear to. Um, but anyways, that's a little right. Um, I think it looks decent. It looks alright. Um, definitely tall. It, it's, it's pretty tall. I'm not lying. Um, I feel like it's... I don't know. I don't even know what you think. This is just bizarre to me. And then I'll just take it out. But, oh, one thing I do like to um, is dual colored. I don't know. Pretty cool. Although definitely I feel like it shouldn't have more color. It should have more color. And then uh, I'll take out the attachment and what the heck is this? What is this? It's supposed to be Extend Plus? Uh-uh. No, there ain't no Extend Plus. Some other wacky stuff. You should have just like literally named it any other Hasbro exclusive like, or just a new name and then everyone would have thought this was a Hasbro exclusive driver and it would have been perfectly okay. But no, these guys have to say, it's extend plus. No, this ain't even extend. Man, pretty pretty disappointing to, um, considering that this is supposed to be extend plus. That is not extend plus. Um, looks alright. I can't really say much more other than I'm a bit disappointed, but it just still looks, it looks decent. It looks decent. I hope it performs well. But I mean, I, I'm not too sure. Um, obviously, that's you put it back on. And if you want, you can get the, um, the other one. And then you put in balance and attack. Boom. Yellow and blue. Ooh, that looks really nice. And then you could put yellow on this. This does not look super nice. But, I mean, pretty decent. I like it. I like um, the whole quad drive um, driver system. I feel like it should, although it shouldn't have been the main focus. I feel like if it was a side thing, everyone would be perfectly fine. But anyway, those are the drivers. Let's move on to the disc. And uh, this disc, FQ, which to my memory has no official name, but I'm going to be calling it Frequency. Hasbro exclusive disc. Pretty cool. You cannot complain. Um, it looks like a uh, wing and uh, has pretty cool holes for air. Um, oh, I actually really like it. I think I actually really like this disc. Wow. I don't really care if the disc is competitive or not. Um, I just like new new stuff. So this is only new, you know. Pretty cool. I like it. Um, reminds me a lot of an MFB Bay um, Pegasus. I think it's called. I don't know. I'm not the biggest like nerd in MFB, but definitely I'm a big a big nerd when it comes to um burst stuff. But anyways, this is a pretty cool disc. Um, it looks a bit flat. Um, definitely on the lighter side, but I mean. Did you expect this thing to weigh much? Because if you look at them holes, like this, this thing. Like you could see the amount of holes this thing has. So you, you can't really say that you want this thing to be as heavy as wheel or as giga. Like, no, it ain't gonna be as heavy as that, but it looks pretty cool. Then we have this one, which I don't remember the name. Oh, I'm so bad, but uh, I don't remember the name, but this is actually really nice. I really like this disc. I really like it. I like the, the sharp, um, design to it, like a rocky design to it. I like, I like this disc. I like the disc. That's that's one thing Hasbro has always gone right. Um, Hasbro exclusive disc. No, well not always right, but pretty right most of the time. Hasbro exclusive disc. Um, I don't remember what this one's called. Um, although it is hollowed out. Um, this one, I feel like it sounds hollowed out, but it feels more natural in this one. And this one does kind of feel a bit like cheap. But I mean, it's a pretty cool disc design, so I ain't gonna be complaining all that much. It's pretty cool. And then we have these two papars things, um, which why you only, I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense, but if you're gonna package these stuff, package everything, not just the layers, but whatever. whatever. Let's check out the first layer, which is Magma Rotavore, not intense. Ooh, what the heck? This is actually pretty nice. Um, wow, ooh, oh my gosh. It looks so pretty. Ooh, oh, that's the, oh, what the, oh, that looks sick. That looks sick, actually. What the heck? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm like, like, oh, you know, I actually thought this was gonna look really bad because, um, especially after I watched Yankee's video, like, um, I felt like this is gonna be a really disappointing thing, which is one of the reasons I didn't 
really want to buy it, but I, but I had to get it. But no, this actually looks really nice. Um, I'm not going to say it's the best thing ever, obviously not. Um, but it looks nice. It looks nice. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It looks nice. Not Takatomi quality, but nice. Uh, let's take this thing out. Let's take out the gravity ring that weighs absolutely nothing. Nada. It is less. It weighs less than my patience. Um, obviously, this is supposed to be three. It feels so fragile. It really does. Um, is it supposed to be three or some other stuff? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I don't think so. Um, I mean, I guess it just kind of feels like the MFP, um, the light, light, uh, I don't even remember what it's called, but it's like the, the middle point, the screw part, it was pretty much like light, meaning it was pretty cheap, <laughs> pretty cheap, um, plastic, and which makes it lighter, faster, whatever, I don't know, I'm not, again, I'm not an MFP nerd, I don't, I do know that it kind of exists there, I forgot where, but I mean, that, this is what that feels like, it feels, uh, it feels cheap, uh, it looks, it, it, it just feels cheap. I'm just, that's all I'm saying. It feels cheap. Why is it not metal? Oh, man. Whatever. And then let's move on to the Magma base, which is a Hasbro exclusive, despite it coming out in the anime, um, which is pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, pretty controversial, obviously. Everything is. Mm, oh, wow. I, I really like it. Um, I thought it was um, a more square design, meaning it's like one side one it's like the exact same it's a metrical that's what i meant to say it's a metrical but no it's actually a triangle because it's this part right here like this um main attack blade i guess you would call it it's like this and then we have the support one which is also a triangle so this is a triangle based um ring that's what i'm calling it i don't know the official terms despite that paper being over there i'm not gonna look at that um color looks nice um i don't like the color scheme i feel like it needs more color though um, it feels if it needs some, some more some more paint. Um, oh, what the heck? What the heck is this? Oh, this screwed me up. Man, never mind. Whatever. We got the rock over chip, which is a translucent greenish. It reminds me of Mint Cookie from Cookie Run Kingdom. I do not know why a lot of stuff they do to remind me of Cookie Run Kingdom, but it does. Um, it was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Um, I, I actually was preparing myself to be very disappointed, but it's not that bad. Although I kind of feel like this blue part should have been gray, but whatever. You only need some more color. But overall, not bad. I would say, you know, it's not the worst thing I've seen. Uh, that's the worst thing I've seen. Um, put it back. Uh, you just put this and then you push that, I think. I think. Oh no, you twist it this way. There you go. And then we put in this. And now it is in core mode. Yeah. Core mode. Um, it feels a bit disaligned, but I mean, it's whatever. And then to, for apex mode, we put this like this, we put that like that, we put this back here. And boom! Apex mode. Not bad. I'm actually really surprised. Um, I'm not disappointed as much as I thought I would be. I thought I would be giving this maybe a, a three or a four at most, but no, I think I'm gonna give it like a seven. I'm not gonna say it's great, but be cool. I really like it. And so obviously this is the main center of attention. <laughs> now this looks sick. This is Gilded Baldorov. Oh my gosh, this actually feels a bit hefty. Yay, this actually feels useful. So sick! I love the design of it. Oh, I love the chip. Oh my gosh! Hands down, so far my favorite quad drive bay. Oh my gosh! I mean, a bit hollowed out, but I mean, this bulky design I think is gonna be good. I think we we hit the jackpot, boys and girls. If you're a girl, we'll hit the jackpot. All right, let's let's uh, break it down and then we'll check it out one by one. Um, if I could take it, this gravity ring off here i'm always gonna mock that so if you get tired of it oh i'm sorry i'm always gonna laugh at this this is not gravity ring. this is just a piece of crap yeah that's all it is it's just a piece of doo-doo it's a piece of doo-doo that's what that is this is what that is but anyways the blade or whatever it's called i don't know what it's called um it is not set in the box so you know, whatever i don't care um i really like it it feels hefty it feels heavier than this surprisingly Despite this already being like a filled up and stuff, this feels um heavier than that. 
It looks really nice. Hasbro exclusive. So that's that's something I like about Hasbro. It's Hasbro exclusive. A very uh, bulky design. Seems to be very good for the fans. Color wise, I'm not disappointed. Although I feel like it could have been up to another level, but it's not disappointing. I think a, a solid eight or seven point uh, seventy five is appropriate. Mm, I don't think it's nine or ten, but mm, pretty good. I really like it. This, however, this is more than the uh, automatic solid eight. Like, oh my gosh, I really love this design. Oh, I love it when like the designs are more like circular because when they spin, it actually looks sick. Um, I feel like a bit more color would have been nice, although it's simple and it's effective. I think it works with or without more color uh, code, if anyone actually cares. Mm, wow, it looks really nice. I really like it. I actually really do like it. I'm, like, I'm super glad I just had to get Bowser off because I was thinking like, oh, should I get Bowser off or should I get um, Limworm? But I'm glad I got Bowser off. Um, so this is in core mode, which is cool, pretty nice. Now let's see it in Apex mode. So that goes in here. And I got that. And I put this up here. And ooh, Apex mode. I actually really like Quadrat. Actually, wow. I, I thought I was gonna be really disappointed. That's why I was really hesitant to buy Quadrat. But after opening this, I'm not. I'm surprisingly not so disappointed. Um, I, wow, I feel like just the negativity of the community really made me not want to buy this, but I didn't really like it. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's great. I'm not gonna say it's the best. I'm not gonna say spend every single dime on these type of stuff. But for now, like first impressions, not bad. I am actually really, really surprised. Uh, obviously, the whole, or well, not, the whole quad drive thing is not just um, about, oh my god, my legs fell asleep. Um, about Apex and Core Mode. <sighs> Give me one second. Sorry about that. My leg fell asleep. Um, but the whole thing with Squad is not just Core and Apex, but also the fact that you could get something like this, break it apart. I said break it apart. And then take this out. Um, just like that. I feel like I could have broken it like that. But whatever. And then you could get this and this. And then you could do a this. And you could do a that. You can do all this, and you can do all this, and that, this and that. You know, you're able to mix and match with quad drive. I actually really like this. I'm actually surprised how, how nice they look. I thought it was going to look really horrendous, but no, they look pretty nice. I'm actually very surprised. Hey, um, I'm not even going to bother putting in the gravity armor, just uh, gravity rings for now, for demonstration purposes, just because... They make no difference. <laughs> they're just for aesthetic, which is kind of pleasant at times, but they're really just for aesthetic. But anyways, let's put them back to the original combos, so then we could see how they look like fully assembled. Put everything back to its original things, and so let's see how well it is. So obviously, magma rock working with frequency. That's what I'm going to be calling it. And so then we gotta put this right there. And um, slopes feel decent. They don't feel all that great. They feel decent. But overall, once it's fully assembled, it looks really nice. Um, I really like the color of this. It looks like a minty color. And that is very cool. Um, I feel like now that I've said that out loud, I feel like this should have been green. But it is whatever. Because it still kind of mix it up with this outer ring here color. But I feel like this should have been a different color as well. Um, overall, pretty good. Um, aesthetically, at least. Pretty good. And then about the Rolf, we have a pretty cool i really like this disc and then we got this and wow it's very nice actually wow i'm so surprised i'm actually really surprised how nice these are and how much i'm liking them but yeah it's actually really surprising how, how nice they look and then um i'm not going to switch them to apex mode just because there's a bunch of videos that already do that and i don't like to uh, be the exact same thing that everyone else does um, I think in order to switch the modes, you need to actually burst them because they um, get uh, kind of stuck with the. Oh, you can, you can see. They get kind of stuck with the, the spring. I think that's how they get locked in the first place. So um, just disassemble them and you want to take out the thing. But yeah, that's how they look like without the attachments. Um, with the attachments, I think Baldur off would win. Without it, though, definitely. Um, 
Magma Rock Door, I think, would win just because this speaks out defense, this speaks out defense, this does not speak out defense. This speaks out balance or attack, this speaks out balance or attack, and this speaks out balance or attack. So that's my prediction. But we won't know until we get through the arena. However, you guys, for you guys, it will feel like it's numb. Like the right next thing, the battle. But for me, it is 12 30 in the night. So I cannot battle because, or else, um, I'm going to wake up the neighbor and I cannot do it. So I'll have to battle these another time, and hopefully, and then I'll, uh, by then, I'll give um, some better thought on this because, on these because, well, I would have been having this for a lot longer now. By then, so to the arena in the future, and we are back. So it's still late. It's the next day from what I recorded everything else. Um, today was a pretty eventful day, but still a pretty good day. So I wanted to kind of just. One of the last things I do before I go to sleep is you know, finish up this video. So that's why we are going to be just battling Magma, Rock Dwarf, and uh, Gilded Valderov against each other. Uh, not really against any other base. Just for the time sake, because this video is already pretty long. Um, but first, we gotta do a test dodge. And I'm using Takutomi Stadium just because I don't have any quad drive stadium. I don't think I will be getting any quad drive stadium I mean, for, for a good decent while. Just because I don't need it. Right, but anyways, 3, 2, 1, let it rip. So that was Gilded uh, Valderov with the press attachment. Um, it goes decent, but because of its bad thing, it's it doesn't go like a normal defense type. It moves around, and so that's that no good. This first is no reason. Great. Uh, let's take out the attachment. And now, let's like suffer. Three, two, one, let it rip. It moves around like Zephyr, although I feel like the, the movement isn't as wide as normal Zephyr because it's locked in it, so. Um, but so good. Next up we have Magma Rock 4, and so this is with the attachment, with the Venture attachment. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. And it moves around the same. Um, it's not as quick um, as normal venture, but decent. And now it's with the extend without the attachment and this extend plus mode thing which obviously is not. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Movements, more attack like, I guess, I don't know. It's more of a balance type, uh, well it is technically a balance type in this mode, but it's not like extend plus balance, it's more of a separate type of balance. Alright, now I'm going to be battling them. Um, I'm not going to keep score, I'm just going to do some battles just because I'm too tired. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Let it rip. You both have your attachments. Pretty good, I guess. Valdor of 1. 1, let it rip. Let it rip. You still have your attachments. Lock the more aggressive. Now they're having a little bit sad. Not enough though. Rock the board. This time Baldurov does not have the attachment, but Rock the board still does. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Let it rip. So they're both moving more, but Rock the board is still faster. And so, Rock the board. This time none of them have the attachment. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Rockabore is going pretty aggressive. Baldurov is using a lot of stamina. I think he's going to go to Rockabore. Yep. That's pretty good. This time, Baldurov is in high mode with the attachment. Rockabore is still in low mode without the attachment. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Let it 
the rip. Lock of our moving quick, log the rock. Still in the center though, though. It's already lost a lot of stamina. Put away. I think Roger would have been away again. Oh yeah. Lock the board's actually pretty good. Same thing as before, except this time Rock the board does have the attackman. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Let it rip. Pretty good. Using hits. Other off not giving up. Rock the board pretty good. Rock the board still won. And at this time they're both in high mode. And they both have the attachments. 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Let it rip. Not that much going around. Not that much contact. Lock to ball one. All right, so those are, I think those are gonna be all the battles I do for today just cause it's pretty late. I'm really tired. Um, I might do a follow up video on like stories or shorts. I don't know what YouTube allows me to do. Um, overall, I think they're both pretty good. I mean, I'm very, uh, not disappointed, I guess. I'm not gonna say I'm impressed, but I'm also not disappointed. So, good overall. Uh, would recommend. Just don't get the feelings. I, I still feel like those aren't good. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all the support. If you want to watch the Shock Tar video, it's going to be right there. And thank you so much. Bye bye.